Two years ago, the government banned cell phones and computers following widespread rebellion, which had broken out against the radiation they emitted. The radiation had affected over three quarters of the female population, making them infertile in their mid-twenties. This panicked millions of people, and there was a sudden desperation and urgency to get married and have children before it was too late. Love, once passionate and beautiful, became rushed and tainted by panic. Oh my, I had such an amazing time tonight. I wonder why. David is so handsome. Ever since you met David, you've been gossiping on about him. It's been hours my ears have drained. So whatever. I've hardly said anything about him. <laughs> yeah, right. He is so cute. You've only met him once. Yet you sound like you're married to the man already. Oh, sister. You could only dream. I better get some rest. Good night, Molly. Good night, Jane. My name's David. I met Molly at a venue last night. Mm. I have my hunches. She's been rabbiting on about you since she met you. <laughs> really? Uh, I'll get her. Thank you. Name is Jane. Thank you, Jane. Molly! Lovely to see you, darling. Is it Molly? Did you get a look at him? Can't say I was looking. He's the hottest thing you'll ever see. I'm falling for him. You can't fall in love with someone so easily. And these days you have to, Jane. I'm in my twenties now and I've got a few years left and then it's game over. I'll be infertile. You're only 17. You wouldn't understand. I guess so. When will you see him next? Not for a while. He's got to go see his sick grandpa. But he said he'd write to me though. How romantic. I would just email the girl through all that trouble. Jane, you know that's banned. And for good reasons too. Anyway, I'm sure David will be friends with you. He's awfully sweet. I've had my friend. Don't need any more. <laughs> He's actually taken my breath away. He sent his first letter. It's here, it's here. And why does this concern me? Oh, Jane did. Don't be such a party pooper. I'm ecstatic. I'm very happy for you, but it's too early. Don't you want to hear it? Yes. <sighs> Tonight. Oh, okay. Don't worry. You'll get your boy soon enough. I'll tell you all about what the letter says tonight. I still miss you, Johnny. I will never forgive Molly. Now she's in love with this um, random guy. There's this desperate need to get pregnant. It's crazy. It makes me feel sick.
Molly. Molly, breakfast. Molly. Molly, what are you doing? Breakfast is ready. A call due. You reading his letter? Haven't you already? About a hundred times. You're making a big fuss over this. Like, uh, I'm gonna start eating without you. My dearest Molly Golson, my heart aches to know I cannot lay eyes upon you until a month from now, but at least we have these letters to keep us close. Many thank yous for the well wishes for my grandpa. I am lonely too, my dear. I've thought deeply about what you said in your last letter. I wish we could have met sooner too. It's rather scary, with us being in our twenties, there is a massive rush for you to have children before it's too late, and for me to find someone, and before I'm too old, that no one will want me. I understand what it feels like to have a sibling rather uninterested in your ordeals. My younger brother Michael has no passion and therefore cannot understand the passion that my heart feels for you. Right back. Yours truly, David Manning. Why should she have all the fun? I'll show her what it feels like to lose someone you love. Dear David, my days have been rather cold and lonely without your warming face. Seeing your eyes make me believe that I could do anything, despite my wretched father and floozy mother. I miss you too. Right back. Best regards. Molly. Did you manage to find that old photo frame yet? Oh. Find that old photo frame yet? Um, no, not there. Sorry. You're acting really weird lately. Is anything wrong? Yeah, yeah. Well, would you say that? You're way too paranoid. It's been a week. He still hasn't written. Jane, please concentrate. Sorry. Uh, my mind is also. I wish mine was. I can't stop thinking about David.
hear with home more often and not far in the street, maybe I'd not drink so much. It's like they don't even remember they have daughters. Nothing new there. I'm scared, Jane. I don't want to be infertile. You'll find someone. No! It, it's been almost a month now and still no letter. Maybe David isn't the one then. No, oh, I don't have time to find the bloody one. I just need a one. David was perfect. What's wrong with you? Don't you want to find true love? As if you know anything about true love. Johnny never loved you. It was just some boy you forced into a relationship with you and then he realised he liked me more. Stop it, Molly. He loved me. He never loved you. You, you, you tricked him. I can't fall in love, unlike you. You only pretend you love them to have children. Like, you know what? You deserve to be infertile. How could you? Donna's infertile. She adopted us. Look at us. We're not a family. Do you want me to have to adopt my children? Do you want me to have to grow up and live a life like theirs? You think you understand life. You think you know about love. You know nothing. Miles, I'm sorry about earlier. Come on now, eat, eat some food. I know you're starving. I could hear your stomach rumbling from downstairs. You won't end up like Donna and Bill, I promise. Oh, it's been almost a month and still no letter. Perhaps I should write him another letter? Maybe I said something in his last letter that was bad. Perhaps he took offence. No, 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 don't do that. He doesn't deserve that. He's not worth your time. Jane. Thank you so much. I need you so much right now. I'm so panicked. I thought he was the one to give me children. Before it's too late. There's something I must confess. Yes. I... I you stole your jeans the other day. I... Uh, forgive you? You can't have screwed everything up, Jane. How could you do this to your sister? I'm in love with her man. But he was never a man. Oh, what do I do now? I can't confess it to her now. Dear David, there is something I must confess. I am not who you think I am. What started out as revenge became love. Whatever are you doing, Jane dear? Just warming up by the fire. Why do you have my pencil case? I was looking for it. I think I may write to Grandma. I'm feeling so miserable and there seems to be no one here for me. Except you, of course, Jane. Yeah, of course.
dear Molly, I have a surprise for you. Love, David. Uh, is there any mail for us, Archie? Uh, no, sorry, Jane. Mm, thank you. All right, see ya. See ya. Jane, am I unattractive? No. Why? Why did David flee from the prospect of loving me then? Not sure. But all I do know is that he missed out on the most breathtaking woman ever. Do you think he's with someone else? No. Definitely not. Perhaps it's Grandma! She's coming in to make me feel- Molly, I couldn't bear to be away from you any longer. I've never seen anyone more beautiful. I've been travelling all night and I'm soaked to my skin. But it's worth it. Molly, will you marry me? I know it's soon, but darling, it's times like these we have to follow our hearts. And mine says that we're meant to be together. I truly love you, Molly. Will you do me the honour? Yeah. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> I love you, Molly. Oh, David. I didn't think you cared. I love you. It's taken so long for me to write. I was preparing this time. <laughs> it was worth the wait. Dear Molly, I have caused you such immense pain, I, I want to die. To think I was selfish enough to perhaps ruin your chances of finding someone in time to be able to give birth, it makes me feel sick. I was foolish and didn't understand your panic or your pain. I wanted David, I love David, but he clearly wants you. I try to take that from you. And for this, I shall go to hell by my own doing. Goodbye forever. Love, Jane. You're all wet. Let's get out these clothes and I'll run you on watch out. Sounds good. Mm.
nothing important. Nothing at all.